Tracy. What's your deep thought about cattails? What are cattails? They're weeds. With say cat bags on top. So, you catch that? Deep thought by Casey. Cattails are just weeds with fake hot dogs on top. We got it. This is for Preeti. And he was really excited to hear that you got you wanted to be best friends because he wanted that controller. So I know that the lighting isn't the best here, but this is our little workout center. So we were lucky enough to, this house has a three car garage, so um, this bay gets to be my woodworking area, followed by our little home gym. So Alex built a dip station and he's got a tire that he'll use for sledgehammer. It's not, obviously not big enough to use for uh, flipping tires. Um, and then we managed to get that little um, bench press bench from someone on Kijiji and just some things that we've gotten over the years. Um, so I'm just going to do warm up with that skipping rope. I want to try to get better at my skips and I'm going to do some arms and some, it's not really heavy enough to do deadlifts so I'll probably just try some squats and things like that. Fun fact, jump rope isn't always the greatest when you've had two kids and you haven't kept up on your kegels. I realized that was TMI. Probably can't see because of the lighting, but oh yeah, yeah there you can. <laughs> it's a good workout when your headphones are covered in sweat. Okay, so I've got this beautiful, beautiful jump rope that I ordered when I was doing CrossFit at the CrossFit gym in Grand Prairie, Alberta. And I realized, oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. I realized that, oh, can you see that? Where is it? Anyway, I realized that I hated skipping. I have, like I have really bad social anxiety at times. Sometimes I'm okay, but I would always be really embarrassed about my lack of skills with skipping. And you know, like, like they get you to do double unders, which is turning your jump rope around twice each time you jump. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even do like five skips in a row without tripping over my feet. And so I got this rope, but then I realized I never practiced outside of when we would be doing the skipping in the, I'm having a real hard time concentrating. I'm like so tired and so worn out. Um, and I have to still go in and eat. So I would never practice outside of when we were actually doing it in CrossFit class. And so of course I couldn't do it. And when I was starting tonight, this was the first, um, cause I really want to amp up my high intensity interval training. And, uh, so I wanted to do skips in between my lifting. And, um, in the beginning of my session, that's when I first came on and was complaining about how awful it is to jump rope after you've had kids. I was still like embarrassed about my skipping abilities, but then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? There's nobody here. It's just me in my garage. I'm just gonna put on my headphones and I'm gonna listen to music and I'm gonna just relax. And I'm gonna practice just skipping. Just go back to being six and seven years old. And so like the first couple of sets, because I was only doing it for bursts, like just bursts of time, and then do some weightlifting, and then go back and do some more. And the first couple were a little rough, but then I realized I needed, oh my goodness, you gotta see this. That was from taking a pan out of the oven, and I burned myself. It hurts really bad. Anyway, um, I realized that I needed to be holding the handle down a little bit lower, and just a little bit more just from the end of the handle instead of like gripping the whole handle like it was life or death. So just loosely gripping it and holding it down a little bit lower than I was. And it gave me more slack and more clearance and I didn't feel like I was gonna trip over my feet. And so then I just, the next couple sets just focused on just going to the beat of the music. And then by the end I was like stopping because I was out of breath and I thought my heart was going to burst out of my chest instead of because I'd tripped over my own feet. So um, I think it's good to try to 
push through when we're uncomfortable. Because if we just stick to what's comfortable, then we're just gonna have what we've always had. And if we're on a journey to have better health or to be better, to better ourselves, then we can't stay with what we've always done, right? So we have to push through things that are uncomfortable and hard, but I mean, you just take it one day at a time or one hour at a time or even just one minute at a time. Can I skip for one minute? And then what used to be uncomfortable will become our new normal. And we'll just continue in that onward and upward progression, which we can apply to so many different things in our lives, where we come closer to being the person that we were intended to be, really. And uh, so that's my, that's my takeaway from how I previously looked at skipping and how I dreaded it and I didn't want to do it to I pushed through that uncomfortable feeling and the the fact that I felt that it was hard and that I would never be able to do it and that I'd never be able to do double unders so that's my next goal is getting getting the double unders under my belt so that's also my challenge is to for you guys to find something that you know makes you uncomfortable but that you also know will help you in that onward and upward progression to becoming closer to the person that you'd like to be or that you know you could be. Okay, so that's my thought. I'm gonna go in and take a shower because I am a sweaty, sweaty gal. But it was a good workout session. Okay, talk to you guys later, bye. Okay, y'all, Jordan, that was for you. Here's how much of a moron I am. I was walking back from my garage to my house, literally like 25 steps, and it's pitch black, because it's like 10 o'clock now. And, oh, RC Martinez, it is getting cold at night. I'm not a fan of that. It's dark in here too, sorry for the lighting. Um, anyway, here's so much of a moron I am. In that walk, I took the flashlight from my phone and I turned it around to see if there was anything following behind me like a monster or something i'm 40. i use a sensi nightlight saying it's because it's a sensi warmer and not because i'm using it as the nightlight feature and i'm one of those that can't put my toe over the edge of my mattress because i'm pretty sure that the monster that's under my bed is gonna take my leg off if it sees my toe out over the edge of my mattress. Is there anybody else that's still like that? Or am I just still kind of a child inside? Comment below to help me know I'm not alone, please.